So guys, uh, in this video, I will uh, try to illustrate how I got the uh, Nexus OVA virtual machine to get going on a virtual machine player, workstation player. So VMware workstation, I was trying to get the OVA going for the Nexus um, on the player and it didn't work. I got it going in my one of my videos. If you search, I got it going uh, on the virtual box. But uh, what I did was I downloaded the VMware workstation from Broadcom. It's free, and I had um, I have this Nexus uh, 641042 OVA file downloaded from Cisco. So I tried to boot import it by doing a file and uh, open and then going to the uh, OVA. So what it does, it does open and it brings it up like in this format, in this screen. So I'm gonna, I got one going, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna demo the second one and see and tell, you know, kind of illustrate how you can actually get a CLI going because the screen gets stuck. So it is up and running, it takes 10 gigabytes of memory. So uh, make sure you have enough. Once you import it, it takes 10, 10 gigabytes, four processors, and uh, you need to import, you need to add a serial port to get this going. So I'm going to demonstrate this. Let's see if it works. So one is already going, 10 gigabytes. I should have enough memory because I've got 20, 32 in my laptop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say open OVAs. 641042 open and I'm going to name this guy Nexus 2. I already got Nexus 1 going. Default profile import. Close this guy. Let it import. Okay, so now this one is already powered up, Nexus 2. Before I power it up, I will edit. And I would add a serial port. And on the serial port, I'm going to do named pipe. Leave everything default. And I'm going to create a named pipe like this and call it the exact name of the virtual machine, which is Nexus 2. Okay. And power it on. So you'll get this message. Cannot load image file, blah, blah, blah. Trying this boot. So the first one failed. So this one is booting fine. And if it doesn't, you need to specify, if it comes to a loader, then you need to specify boot image. 
but it didn't do that here. So this is the way you do it. If it comes to the loader, <clears throat> you need to say boot Nexus OS 64, whatever the file name is. You do DIR and it'll show you this. On the loader, you'll do DIR and it'll show you this. So you, here's the file name that you need to say boot the file name and it's gonna boot. Once you get the boot time, blah, 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 that means it's successful. So now it's booting successfully. The second one just booted successfully, but it would not proceed any further on the, on the console. So the way you do that, you go to a putty, if my putty comes up, and in the putty, you would create, I've already created one, so I'm going to load it. And I call it this guy. I just, I'm going to rename it to Nexus 2. So you're going to have to create the serial line, select serial 9600, type exactly the way you did it on the serial port in the VMware player or workstation. Save it as Nexus 2 or Nexus 1 or whatever name you're, you're using, but you got to use it exactly like this, the, the first section until here. And then after that, you can name whatever virtual machine you want to name. And then open it up and hope that it works. It does take a while for the CLI to pop up. So let's see how much time it takes. So within a few minutes, it's starting to pop up the screen and all that good information is popping up. So I had to go and disable Pope power on automated something, provisioning, I believe. So once it gives me that message, I will disable that, but right now it's still booting, so you need to give it enough time and wait for the Pope thing to uh, pop up. And then once you uh, see that, you can kind of skip it. Still moving forward, still moving forward. Takes a good five to maybe 10 minutes, depending how fast your CPU is. A lot of error messages. We'll see what happens, but it's doing something. System is coming up. Please wait. So far, so good. Okay, and it's going to take a good solid beyond five minutes, so you're going to have to be patient. Okay, here goes the poke thing. 
right here, Pope. Let's see if I can press enter and disable it. Nothing yet. Okay. Wait for system online status before starting Pope. Okay, Pope is taking its sweet time, so let it come up. Okay. Let me try pressing an enter. Still not giving me the Pope option to disable Pope. It hasn't started yet, so it's taking a while. Okay, so here's the message, starting auto-provisioning. Let's see if I can skip it. <clears throat> skip. All right. Mind you, I'm pausing my video for all these messages, so it could be a while. It uh, does seem quicker in the video, but uh, it's not that quick. It, I'm waiting like a good solid 20, 30 seconds before each message pops up. So let's see if it gives me the option. It's still booting up. So I'm going to be pausing the video as these messages are popping up. Okay, I think this should be the last message. All right, login. So admin is the login and no password. And it should give you the switch option. So there you go. You got the switch show interface status gives you all the good stuff. Now let's see if we can ping each other or talk to each other. They're all connected to VLAN one. If I do show CDP neighbor, I do see switch on management zero, ethernet one. Okay, so let's see, config T host name switch two, config T host name switch one show cdp neighbor do i see switch two or would it take time to show me the host name show cdp neighbor There you go, switch one. So on switch two, I can see switch one. So now they can see each other. Switch one, switch two. There you go. So now you can kind of play with it, <clears throat> put it on the interfaces or same network and ping it. But the purpose of this video was to show you how you could uh, bring up nexus and make sure that you do where did my setting go here it is put the serial port in add it manually put in the pipe and use the exact virtual machine name and bring up putty and that should work. Ignore this part. It's for a different name, but uh, but it should work. You work. Uh, let me show you one more time. So here's the putty for Nexus.
Nexus one load. This is how it looks like. 96 serial. Nexus two load. Nexus two pipe. So this way you have your Nexus, each will take 10 gigabytes. So make sure you have enough processing power and memory to bring it up and then you can uh, should be able to play with it. Hope this helps.